Hello friends, today we are going to learn problems of 8085 microprocessor flag register. So there are total 5 flags in 8085 microprocessor and their names are carry flag, parity flag, auxiliary carry flag, zero flag and sign flag. Now we will see how these flags are getting modified. So let's take first example. Let content of accumulator is equal to 98H and content of B register is 89H. Add them and find the content of flag register. So what we will do, we will write content of A is equal to 98H. And this 98 we can write in binary pattern as 1, 0, 0, 1. So 8 plus 1 is 9. And it as 1 0 0 0 then we will write content of B register as 89 H so this number can be written as 1 0 0 0 which is 8 and 9 can be written as 1 0 0 1 now it is asked that we should add them so we will perform addition so binary addition 0 plus 1 is 1, 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 1 is 0 with carry 1, 1 plus 1 is 0 with carry 1, 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 0 is 0 and 1 plus 1 is 0 with carry 1, 0 with carry 1. Now, this is our answer. This answer is 2 and this answer is 1. So we got our answer is equal to 21H. Therefore, after execution, our content of accumulator will become 21H. Now we want to find the content of flag register. Therefore, we will write various values of flag. There are total 5 flags, carry flag. Now, carry flag. See here, when we performed 1 plus 1, we got answer is equal to 0 with carry 1. So after 8 digit, we got 9 digit as a carry. And whenever additional digit is generated, 9th digit is generated, at that time we will say that carry flag has become 1. Now, next flag is parity flag. Now parity flag simply checks how many 1's are there in answer. So in this answer, there are only 2 1's. And 2 is a even number. That's why parity flag will become 1. Now, next we will check auxiliary carry flag. Auxiliary carry flag from half part of the answer. 1 plus 1 we got 0 with carry 1. So, from half part of the answer in the next part we got carry. Therefore, we will say that auxiliary carry flag is 1. Then next we will check 0 flag. 0 flag simply checks whether answer is 0 or not. And since we are, our answer is non-zero number, that's why 0 flag will remain 0. And finally, we will check the sign flag. Now over here, MSB of our answer was 0. And whenever MSB is 0, then sign flag is 0. And we will say that this answer is positive. So finally, we will draw flag register. There are total five flags. First flag is CY. Next bit we do not use. Then second flag is parity. Next bit we do not use. Then next flag is auxiliary carry. Then next bit is not in used. And last two flags are zero and sign. Now we will substitute their values. CY flag was one. Parity was 1, AC was 1, 0 and sign were 0. And in not in use place, we will keep 0, 0, 0. Now, in 4 digit, this has become 1 and this has become 5. So, our content of flag register has now become 15H. So, we successfully got our answer. We performed addition of these two numbers we got answer in accumulator and according to the this answer we decided various conditions of five flags 
and by deciding those five flags values we finally found out the values of flag register now let's take one more example in this example instead of doing addition we are going to do the subtraction so let content of accumulator is equal to 98h so we will start with content of accumulator which is 98h so we can write this value as 1 0 0 1 it can be written as 1 0 0 0 and minus we want to perform content of b register and content of b register is written as 89h 89h so it can be written as 1 0 0 0 and 9 can be written as 1 0 0 1 now let's perform binary subtraction now 0 minus 1 we cannot do that's why we will take borrow from here this number will become 0 this number will become 1 0 and 1 borrow we will give over here so this number will become 1 again 1 0 1 borrow we will give over here so this will become 1 and this number will become 1 0 now 1 0 is 2 so 2 minus 1 is 1 1 minus 0 is 1, 1 minus 0 is 1, 0 minus 1 we cannot do, that's why we will take borrow from here. So we have taken borrow and this number will become 1, 0 and 1, 0 minus 1 will become 1, 0 minus 0 is 0, 0 minus 0 is 0, 0 minus 0 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0. So this is our answer. So therefore, after execution, content of accumulator has become 0 FH. So 4 times 1 is F of hexadecimal. So answer became 0 FH. Now we will decide various flags. So we will start with carry flag. Now over here from last bit, from 9 bit, we have not taken borrow. Okay, that's why our CY flag will remain 0. Then next flag is parity flag. Parity flag checks how many ones are there. There are total 4 ones in the answer and 4 is a even number. That's why parity flag will become 1. Next flag that we will check is auxiliary carry flag. So from previous half of the answer, we have taken borrow in the next bit. Therefore, we will say that here auxiliary carry flag becomes 1. Then we will check 0 flag. Now, our answer is a non-zero number. That's why 0 flag will remain 0. And finally, we will check sign flag. Sign flag always always follows MSB and MSB is 0. That's why sign flag is 0. And we may say that our answer is positive. Then we got all possible values of flags. Now we will draw flag register. So first flag is CY. Then parity then auxiliary carry then zero and final flag is sign flag now we will substitute their values only parity and auxiliary carry are one so auxiliary carry and parity are one and sign zero and carry flags are zero now we will substitute zero for this dashes so in four bits this number has become one and this number has become four so Ultimately, our content of fact flag register has become 14H. Thank you.